heart's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas I'm Serenity and this is my channel and welcome back to Creatmas Day 2. Uh, yes, I am wearing the same hair and makeup as day one because it's called batch filming because I only had to film the intros and outros to these videos. Today I'm going to be teaching you something you can make for your Christmas tree with my least favorite crafting supplies ever. Say hi Pix. And Scarlet is back there. Glitter. I hate glitter so much. I call it the herpes of craft supplies. I hate glitter, it gets everywhere and I never want to work with it unless I absolutely have to. But I will be making today with you guys, let me pick them up because they are very sensitive. So be very careful when you make these. These little ornaments, again, the autofocus does not want to work. These little memorial ornaments with wings and it says on here, first my mom, forever my angel. I put mom on these because when I made these orders last year, they were for people whose moms had passed sounds so wrong. My mom is very much alive. She's over there. My dad on the other hand, yeah, he's dead to me. He's alive. Like once those child support checks stop coming in, he's dead. Anyways, I'll be teaching you how to make these. So let's go. Let's start with the supplies you will be needing. You will need Mod Podge and a paintbrush, vinyl and all the supplies needed for it, a clear plastic ornament, hot glue gun with glue sticks, scrap printer paper, extra fine glitter, a wing ornament, and paint and paintbrush optional gloves. To start, I'm just going to prep my wing ornaments by cutting off all their little detailing and hangy stringy thingy. Don't know what it's called, but that just totally rhymed, so that was cool. Now I'm going to paint two of the ornaments white. One, because one of these will be white with white glitter, and the other so I can show the effect of when you are using a dark glitter, why you need to paint that ornament. Taking the lid off of my ornaments, I'm just putting a little bit of Mod Podge in there, shaking it up and using a paintbrush to spread it out. And then you're gonna see me go in with my finger when it gets about midway. I just find I get a better coat when I do this to the ornament of Mod Podge. It just coats it a lot better. Then I'm gonna go in with my glitter. This one is going to be white, you will see, and just pour it in there and shake it up until I feel it's nice. I'm using a little piece of scrap paper in a cone shape to shake it up and dumping the access into my glitter so we don't have any stray glitter because glitter is the herpes. Absolutely hate glitter. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing with my other two ornaments except this time I'm using silver glitter so you can see me getting a better coat here on the ornaments than versus the white glitter just because white glitter doesn't show up on camera but doing the exact same steps and setting these aside to dry overnight. I actually ended up setting these aside to dry for 48 hours just because one of the layers of Mod Podge was really thick. Now I'm following the same steps on the angel wing ornament. I'm covering it in a layer of Mod Podge and then applying glitter and shaking off the excess and doing the same on the inside of the wings too. That way both sides are coated in a nice layer of glitter and setting those aside to dry. Again, you can't see the white because white sucks on screen, but here I'm doing it with the silver glitter on the other pair of white wings I painted just so you can see what would happen when you are doing an odd color to get that more opaque look. And then, of course, I had to paint the other ones that came half gold, half silver that I bought, just the top silver. So that's what I'm doing. While everything dries, I'm going into Cricut Design Space and editing my message. Here you could change whatever you're wording. This link is down below and on the blog post. Changing the images to two whites and one silver for my bowl and cutting it out. Once everything is cut, we're just going to read it again. You can't see because the vinyl is literally white. Be very careful in this process. I like to cut each little word out and then trim it out. Using some contact transfer tape, I put the top of the bowl back in and then I'm just transferring it to my ornament nice and slowly. Now, with this, you can do the little curve lines that everyone talks about, but that didn't work for me. Then on the next one, I actually decided to do the first two rows separately and then the last two rows separately. This actually worked a lot better. So this is the tip I recommend making. That way your text isn't all weird. Now here's a little tip. I'm using a little hairspray to keep my wings nice and checked, the glitter in place. And then a lot, a lot, a lot of glue to glue my ornament to the center of the wings. You are going to use so much glue and just hold it till it melts and reinforce so it's so much freaking glue. And there you go. 
I am also adding a cute little ribbon to match the ornaments so you can hang them nice and pretty and you don't have to use those weird hooks with such a gorgeous ornament. And there are her ornaments all cute and done and ready to be hung on a tree in memorial of a loved one. What did you think about it? Did you like it? I hope you did. Uh, if you make these, remember to tag me. All my socials are linked down below. The file for the name and everything is linked down below on my Cricut, but there's also a PDF over on my blog. Again, more details are in the description in the blog post. Go check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And the dog photo of the week is this photo of Nova on my heated blanket at 6 in the morning. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!